Hello there, my name is Yolita Brilliant. I'm the owner of Brilliant Massage and Skincare, and today I wanted to talk about uh, growth factors in skincare, stem cells, peptides. They're pretty much um, kind of debatable, all of them, some than others, but growth factors are um, ingredients that stimulate cell division regeneration it's pretty much telling cells to you know build collagen and um be more youthful there is animal and plant derived growth factors but only human derived pretty much growth factors are really kind of known to be more effective, but their molecules are pretty large, so it's debatable how many of them are actually getting through the skin. So the product has to have very high potency, at least some to get through. Um, the studies show they're, like, they're, they have effectiveness, but the downfall is that uh, if there's precancerous cells, they could accelerate that cancer growth because they do so stimulate that cell division regeneration in that way. So that's a risk, and that's why I'm not too of a fan of growth factors. Plus, the other icky thing about growth factors from like, you know, it's a human or an animal. Like that DNA was that came from sometimes from actual like human like force donated foreskin from the baby whatnot it's just so weird um and yeah like now stem cells can come from also plants but they're known that they're not as effective because they don't communicate with um human cell you know plant cell is different they can act more they act kind of more like antioxidants stem cells now human cell cells and growth factor are used in medicine for various reasons but talking about skincare it's kind of the same purpose you know to regenerate but you know in both it's like it's kind of debatable how much they really do now like stem cells they're i feel like they're less risk than the growth factor in terms of like the cancer risk because they're you know they're more commonly used from plants anyway so um they're gonna be more like you know um plant serum sort of thing uh so i don't see much issue with that but they can be pricey and, and peptides are uh, also like proteins that also now is used in skincare, but they're um, not as, I would say, foolproof like your well-known retinol, alpha, beta, hydroxy acids, and, um, you know, good old sunscreen. That's not going to give you the most benefits. But if you want to try the stem cell extracts, like from plants, I would say, yeah, but with the growth factor, especially from human, the rare tips, I don't know, it just kind of like icky to me and they kind of smells because it's like protein so they might smell a little kind of funky too. Um, so it's up to you, let me know guys if you try those. I have tried them but I don't know if I want to have them in my regular skincare. Just um, kind of my preference, I kind of like to go for things that I know actually really work, are good and risk free. Uh, and effective and I know I'm sending my money you know where it um, in a high quality skincare that is safe and effective but you know if it works for you I'll like to hear in the comments down below if you tried stem cells growth factor if you use peptides let me know if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below hope you enjoyed this learned something new hopefully a little bit more and um, also about um, the um some uh celebrities now have lines that have growth factors too so it's kind of like people always try to invent you know new things to market new things but i don't know if this is really revolutionary invention that's going to change this anti-aging skincare forever i would appreciate them so i'm on instagram and youtube at you lead brilliant and also you can if you're in burlington vermont you can book um facial and massage session and our brilliant spawn run to Vermont. Have a brilliant day.